I learned a long time ago that my agenda and my muse's agenda don't always mesh, and I serve the muse. And it sounds like a luxury to say that, but I'm, I'm saying that because when I've tried to make work that is just about what my intellect and my political passion thinks is the right thing to do, it almost always fails because the motivation is something that might be more appropriate for a speech or an academic paper or an essay, right? Uh, but it's not... I can't make my muse follow me, I follow it. And any time I have tried to switch that dynamic, I have failed. I have publicly failed, I have privately failed, I have not been able to get at whatever this intangible is. So I just accept that I'm not the boss. I, I think that it's important to make good art. I think making good art is political in and of itself. I honestly believe that. And I think sometimes the politics of it is discovered later. Uh, I think Basquiat's art is extraordinarily political, not just when he's overtly being political, but just the combination of him as a fine art, fine artist choosing to engage with graffiti culture is a political statement. There's a lot of ways in which politics uh, and art endure without saying, I'm going to make um, uh, you know, a specific art piece about a specific thing. So I trust those kinds of legacies, too, that I feel like I'm a part of. I always feel like my job is to discover what the art is telling me as opposed to imposing my own agenda. And sometimes that's made me do even more radical, even more overtly political work. But the goal is not to make art serve politics because there's no excuse for bad art, even with the best of intentions.